What's up guys and welcome to Cartoon Network Battle Crashers. Oh gosh, the game's starting. I didn't even press anything. <laughs> this is an interesting looking game that has a whole bunch of Cartoon Network characters and puts them in like a beat em up type of game. It has a lot of cool characters that I notice. Of course, like the Adventure Time characters, we've done other Adventure Time stuff. Break dimensions, hold on, whoa, whoa, <laughs> what is happening? I'm not ready for this right now. Whoa. Oh, we're going through all the like Cartoon Dimensions, okay. Oh. I don't know which dimension we're in now. Is this the uh, regular show dimension? Maybe. Oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> look, at, look at Jake over there. He looks like a little knocked out. Oh my gosh. So now that all the Cartoon Network characters are together, that's it. <laughs> what happens now? Now the cutscene plays again. What? It totally looks like a zebra on the front. <laughs> It might be, it might not be. I hope it's not a real zebra. The poor zebra got his head cut off. But, um, so this is, okay, so we get to choose our level. This is Clarence. Okay, I think this is the show, Clarence. Okay, I'm not too familiar with that one. One, of the, one or two of the shows I don't know anything about, but I do know about, of course, regular sh show, Adventure Time, and Steven Universe I know a little bit about. So, hopefully we can see some of that stuff, but this is from the show Clarence, or, or Clarence City, Aberdale Neighborhood. All right, cool. So, oh, here's Clarence. So I guess we, oh, do we have to start with Clarence? Okay, cool. Seems to be some kind of range character. He has soda as a weapon. That's actually, I, I can dig that. That's pretty cool. Now what? Oh, I just go. Ooh. Okay, so I get to spray soda over. I hope you have a toothbrush or you'll have to see your dentist soon. Ah! <laughs> so we're dropping little gems here. What are these? Um, I guess some kind of currency. But like, I mean, I'm a little confused. Like, who's the enemy? We haven't established that there's, ah, penguins! Oh gosh, <laughs> little Gunthers! Why are they here? What, I guess, I guess the dude who's driving the RV, I don't know who he is, he was opening rifts up, and I guess Ice King sent his penguins through. That's interesting. <laughs> oh boy. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to beat these things up as much as I can. What other moves do we got here? Looks like square is the only button that does anything right now. But this game came out a few days ago. I thought it looked really fun, so I just figured, why don't we just go ahead and play it? Let's beat this up. Ooh, a grape. I guess if I lost any health. Oh, you're Gumball, aren't you? I know a little bit about that show. Gumball Watterson, reporting for duty. You can count on me against these, whatever they are. Press L1 or R1 to, to select me. Oh, and you have, oh, you're like, <laughs> like, is that a vacuum? It looks like, yeah, you're getting dust on them. I might give somebody like, I don't know, cold, a sickness. Germs, ah, with the power of nastiness. <laughs> but Gumball's a really cool show. I've never watched it, but I thought the animation style, how it's um 2D animation on top of like a real world picture, like that's really cool. And who are you? I love fun, me too. Hello, as you travel, be sure to collect those shiny colorful shards. I know. They will make pa you powerful and you will need all the power you can get. Uh, do you tell the future? <laughs> Secrets, ooh. I always want to open a chest that says secrets. So so both these characters are pretty cool. Range-wise, it looks like they're about the same. So I'm not sure you know, which one might be better to use. It'd be cool if we could see if there's, they have any other moves, but I'm guessing we'll learn that as we continue playing. I don't plan on doing a series on this game, but maybe just you know this one little video to enjoy it. I figured it'd be fun. It's pretty cool so far, though. Like it doesn't play bad. Like sometimes I'm worried about these kind of games because like they have a cool concept, but then you play them, they're not so great. But this is pretty cool so far. The controls are fine. All right. Oh wait, I, I just saw Finn and Jake, or at least Finn holding Jake. Was he? Was that a Jake hammer? That's a Jake hammer. <laughs> Hello. Need a little help? We're ready to. Bust up some shard monsters. So they're shard monsters. Okay. Okay, now I get it. So it looks like Jake, or Finn is a melee character using Jake as the, the weapon. Oh, look, it's one of the banana guys. But the banana guys aren't supposed to be bad. I guess it's just, I don't know. Not too much plot going on on why these bad guys are attacking. It's just that these characters, like we got story on how these characters got here, but not exactly why they're doing what they're doing, but there's a lot of health, just in case I need it. I probably should pick it up as a character who might need it, like you have a little bit of health, you need to be refilled. So I can like knock you back with this character, turn in the, in the fin here, and, and then boom, finish him off. That is actually really cool how you can combo up the characters. Ready, boom, and get you again. Only takes two shots as fin here, <laughs> this is pretty great. I like them the best so far, and they're also the show I know the most. 
Because I've out of all the shows by far, I've watched Adventure Time the most. But what about you guys? Like, out of all the characters that are in their own respective shows in this game, which one is your favorite? I, I just have to say Adventure Time, just because I'm a big fan of it. Of course, we've made videos on other Adventure Time related things. I don't know who this guy is. Good morning, horrific mirror clones got you down. Just leave it to me and Belly Bag. Belly Bag? Belly Bag. Oh. Wait, well, how does a fire extinguisher make flames? It's a fire igniter. I don't know if that's how it works, but okay. You look like another ranged character, but you might actually do some massive damage here. Like, the shot is way different. I can actually move around when I shoot it too, which is pretty cool. It lasts a little while. Whoa, well, what am I doing now? Did I run out of flamethrower stuff? Whoa, what, what, what? What do I, I have a pay meter. <laughs> Wait, why am I just changing items? I don't understand. Oh, is he getting it out of his his little fanny pack, I think it's gone? Backpack or something? Now he's throwing dynamite or like fireworks or something? Look like fireworks. Oh, and with the pay toll again. You forgot to pay the meter. Now I must beat you with it. So we have like 50 of these gem things. Oh, each character has their own amount of gems. I didn't notice that. So I wonder how the, like, is it just one of those things where when a character collects the gems, they will level up? I'm not really sure. Oh, you're from Steven Universe, aren't you? Uh, you might want to look into this portal. I believe there is a large reward inside. Use this combination to enter the to enter the blue portals. Triangle, square, triangle. Whoa, whoa! We're in Adventure Time world now. Hey, get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> this is fun. I like how we get smaller as we run into the background. You hit them all in one shot, though. It's great. Jake looks a little beat up, though. He's just like, ow, my face. You think we'd be able to use his butt just because that would hurt Jake less? But no. We, we don't care about Jake's well-being, apparently. So I can just sort of knock him back a little bit. He almost looks like a hockey player with the way he shoots it. Oh, no, 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 got it. Oh, we got another secret chest. I wonder. What if one of these secret chests doesn't actually have secrets in it? So I definitely want Finn and Jake to pick up all these shards and since I like playing as them the most, right? Make them as powerful as possible if I play with them the best, right? That's my idea with it. So whoever she was is gone. Like, I wish that they would just have their name under each one, that way you know, like we know who's who, and if we didn't before, now we know, we can learn something. But I'm sure you guys will fill me in. You guys usually do, whenever I play games like these, I might not know a character. There's at least somebody who knows it who can fill me in. Oh, come on, there you go. I wish I had more time to watch like Cartoon Network and other TV shows. Usually I'm too busy making my own videos that I can't watch a ton of it, but that's why I only have a few shows that I watch, including Adventure Time, but I even need to catch up on that, but Results, we were the best player because we were the only player. All right, we, should, we might as well keep going. So yeah, what's going on here? Ooh, Finn and Jake leveled up. I like it, I like it. So it looks like there's still two more characters to unlock. Okay. And level up, Finn and Jake. Skill unlocked, ooh. Um, oh, the game was saving, I think. So there was something we unlocked there. I figure we'll, we'll finish off these first three levels in this episode or this video. And maybe if you guys really like this, we'll keep playing, but for right now, we're just gonna focus on one thing at a time. So we did unlock the triangle move, which is a Jake suit. I really, really like that. Well, let's let's check this out. Oh, look, it's Flame Princess. Oh, the meter has to fill. I think that blue star meter is what has to fill to go and use the Jake suit. I'm gonna guess that's what's going on here. Well, let me pick up more gems to level up, maybe. Hello. Be careful, these green mirrors are spitting out a stinky fog. If you touch the fog, you'll take damage over time, like you're poisoned or something. A gumball is a powerful vacuum that can blow away the stench of the everything and everyone. Be sure to use this power to keep your teammates fresh and clean and stench free. Interesting, so depending on what level you're playing or like, you know, like what's going on in the level, will determine which character you probably wanna play too. This is interesting. I actually haven't played like a beat em up game with that kind of premise to it before. This is pretty cool so far. Let's use this guy. Like, I don't really know who should get the most gems, but can you use your suit now? Whoa, whoa, this is awesome! <laughs> Jake, smash! <rah! laughs> that was cool! Looks like you can't, like, change characters or even stop what you're doing, though, when that's happening. Oh, let's just spray it, spray it, spray it! Oh, you can actually shoot that pretty fast. Oh, wow, okay. I'll keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and change the gumball, though. Pick up all this. Oh, no, we're stinky. We're stinky. Oh, no. This is not good. <laughs> oh, I got a cherry, there you go. So as long as like, I make sure that most of those stinky patches are out of the way, things should work out better, like that one. So what's going on here? Uh, when you feel overrun by monsters, you can call your buddies to help you. 
Uh, use the walking, the walking talking phone to do so. Press triangle after you caught it. Uh, no, hey, 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 get back here. Got it. So I guess I could use that if there's a ton of enemies, which I'm sure that now that we've got that, the game plans on sending us a ton of enemies, but now let's pick up a bunch more of these. I wanna get, uh, I like how it does actually tell you the name, or does it? Huh, weird. On the top level, it says human boy under, you know, Finn and Jake, but for nobody else does it have a name. That doesn't make any sense. That's really weird. Maybe after we get there, level two? Like if I press triangle right now, it'll still say human boy. Well, I'm confused. Well, I just might as well smash everything. I haven't used this against an actual enemy yet, so probably should hold on to it for that. Let me hop on top of these trash cans and get cool stuff and blow away more of the stinky smoke. Smoky stink. And blah. The gems is a cool idea though. I like the idea that you can level each character up. They all have their own abilities and you want to use them in conjunction. Ooh, secrets. More, more gems. I wonder if that'll be the only collectible we get though. It would be cool if there was more stuff hidden throughout too. Hmm, because that's like my favorite part about these kind of games is like, I don't know, the collectibles you can find if you adventure a little bit are always what I like in these kind of games. Let's pick that up, the grape. The grapes are good if you, these guys are stinky too. So I blew away his stinkiness, but I ended up getting stinky myself. It was a trade off. Ah! <laughs> that guy would have not have been fun to deal with. There you go, we got everybody. And then I'll get this right here. I wonder if there'll be boss fights as well. That would be really cool because I would love to be able to use this phone. Who has the phone, by the way? Did the phone go away? I don't know what happened to the phone that was flying around us. Uh, maybe at some point we'll find out. But <laughs> for right now, I'm just gonna, oh boy. Get him again. There you go. There you go. The only problem is that the shot takes like a long time in between. But I would like to see like what kind of cool boss fights we might run into. And get this. That. We don't get any rewards for blowing away the smoke, so I might as well just not waste my time for the ones that aren't in the way. Get these as well. Ha, gotcha. We have the most recent Adventure Time thing we've actually done. Can we go behind here? Oh, there's another phone. Get him, get him. Uh, got him. Okay. So I'm, I might just use this next time an enemy pops up, because I don't know if like this thing is timed, like if it'll go away. Whoa, whoa, this is cool. Holy cow, whoa. I really want to use that with a boss fight then. Yeah. Ugh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, nope, mini Gunther, or just, I don't know if you're Gunthers or just penguins in general. Oh, come on, I can't get this one. It's like too high in the air. Come on, oh, I can't get it. But yeah, the last Adventure Time thing we did was actually the LEGO Dimensions Adventure Time level pack. And I know that Marceline is coming out this month in LEGO Dimensions, and I plan on making a video on that whenever it releases. That should actually be coming very soon. Oh, these guys actually have weapons that they can shoot like, you know, by, through a range at, so we have to be careful. We gotta pay attention to what's going on. And it's another one of these things. First, let me pick up all the gems, and then triangle score triangle. Um, that did not work. Did I not do it right? There you go, I guess I had to be closer. Weird. Get him, get him. This is our natural habitat. You know, we're Adventure Time characters doing Adventure Time things. So it looks like the more you shoot it, the faster you're able to. Like, I can't shoot it really fast all at once. Hey, dude, back off, back off. You know what, I'm going back to Fit and Jake. It's just way too easy not to do. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, gotcha. Too easy, man, too easy. They're just like made for this kind of action. You'd think that uh, Finn would be able to use some of his swords as well, but I guess it's not the idea they're going for. Get that, get that, and then get that. And more secrets. And this one has a bunch of gems. What do you know? The real surprise. We almost have 400 gems for it with Finn and Jake. I don't really know how much we should be getting, but this, you know, seeing how we only got like 100 last time that got us to level up, I would hope this would get us like a level or two. Ooh. And this guy's still stinky. I sort of feel bad for him. Oh boy, don't make me stinky, please. Oh, gotcha. Oh no, I'm stinky. I did not want to be stinky, but look at me now. I'm super stink. Well, there's a whole bunch of food I can use here to get some of my health back from the stinkiness. So we should be all good. And it seems like Finn and Jake are the best for getting the gems because you can smash like a bunch of the uh, stuff at once. But it'd be cool to see, you know, every level, like each character will have its own use. Oh, gotcha, before you can stink me up. That guy took three shots actually, which is a bit of a worry. You are like super glowing. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Okay, so I'm stinky again, that is not good. Here, 
Ooh. So we don't have like, we don't yet have like a super long range character. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. Like it would be cool to get one. That just from like a long distance, we'll be able to deal with that. Let's get all that. Good, good, good. There's actually <laughs> quite a lot of gems everywhere. Like people litter way too much in whatever world we're in currently. I mean, people need to calm down. This hurts the environment. It hurts the very world you're living on. Why would you do this to, to the world? All right, banana guard imposters. We gotta get you out of here. So we don't know the answer to this purple one, which means maybe we can come back at some point. Oh geez, I gotta be careful with the stinkiness. We're actually getting quite low on health. I can only assume that once our character gets taken out, it's gone for good for that level. Oh boy. Oh, almost got you, but not quite, not quite. Whoa, hold on. Can I get you? I got you. Good, good, good. Get you. And this game reminds me a lot of Castle Crashers too, just because it's sort of a similar beat up style of game, which that game was a lot of fun. I played that a lot with Michaela. Get that, oh this is strawberry, but it's covered in stink. Ew, stinky strawberry. Not a fan, not a fan of stinky strawberries, I gotta say. So who needs help? Luckily you can switch through the characters pretty quickly. All right, dude, get out of here, get. Jeez, they're everywhere, they just won't give up. And the phone disappeared again. I guess there really is only a limited time that you can use the phone, right? Maybe it's that if you get hit, the phone goes away. Has to be something like that. Like I'm always trying to deal with the enemy so I don't notice. Ooh, got it. Come on, get you guys too. There's just too many of them, too many. Ooh, excuse me, pardon me. Gotcha. Okay, so we're doing okay, I guess. Another secret, wish there was some food in here, but that's okay. Almost 600, or almost 700 gems for this guy. And there you go, that was the level done. So there was no boss fight, but I mean, it's only the, the second level out of like the first area, so maybe at the end of the area. That one took a little bit longer, but ooh, we got two level ups. Very cool. We definitely got to level up some of the other characters. We'll play as the other two. But um, Ben and Jake got the skill, some of the skill there. Also Gumball got a skill there as well. Very cool. So we're going into another level here, the Aberdale Junkyard. And it, it, it does say it's a boss, that's good. So this is Clarence, what is this guy named Uncle Grandpa? That is weird. <laughs> So I guess we'll start with Finn and Jake because I want to see what this new move is and just sort of see what that's like. Whoa, we just start with the boss right away. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is the circle move? Um, whoa, wait, 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 what? Um, whoa, I threw him like a boomerang. He's boomerang Jake now. That is actually really cool because we can hit multiple enemies at once. And then I can switch back to the hammer Jake. Oh, now he's in swipe mode. What in the world? This is one heck of an upgrade, I can tell you that much. Um, <laughs> and then we can go into super smash mode and then beat him. We beat the junkyard boss. Was that it? No, that was not it. <laughs> that was a little too easy for it to be it. So now we can just sort of switch weapons. Now what about um Gumball here? What is Gumball's new move? We'll find out in a second. So there's a, whoa, this guy's a little scary. Whoa, 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 it's a fan. Oh my gosh, what in the world? Um, Can I actually, oh, I can beat that up. Here, hold on. Uh, I'm getting him a little bit, but it's a little tough. Oh, I gotta stand on the tires, don't I? I want to switch back to Finn and Jake and use, oh, yeah, we got stuck in the goop, not the stinky goop. Oh no, 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 that's not good. Give me the grape, I need the grape. <laughs> so I gotta like, oh geez, yikes, this guy's tough. Yeah, go like this, go like this, go like this. Here, I'm gonna switch, boom. Oh, this is gonna do a good number to you, or not. Here, I'm just gonna switch back to the boomerang then, because I can actually hit him just like this if I land it right. Whoa, oh man, that still hit me though. Um. That's good, that's good. Okay, so this isn't too bad. I'm probably going to, oh, well that's not what I wanted to do, but that's what I ended up doing. I wanted to switch to another character now. Avoid the stink at all costs. We're back to full health with Finn and Jake. Let's move over to this Uncle Grandpa dude. Well, I can't hit him too much like this, but. Okay. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Just keep spamming the button as fast as I can. That did some damage, this guy's actually pretty tough. He's like just garbage dude, you know? <laughs> I like it, but it's also just really weird. He's spraying his gunk everywhere. Not a fan. Protect the environment. This is what happens when you litter, kids. Just giant trash monsters will roam the earth, and then it's up to some guy named Uncle Grandpa to save you. How many people have you met that are named Uncle Grandpa? I don't think many, so unless you, unless you do know somebody, yeah, our odds will be low, and then the world will be doomed. So don't litter, you know, the lesson of the day. And we got him, I think. Ooh, good, good, good. Awesome stuff. So there is more secret chest for us. We're getting a lot of gems here. 
I guess we'll keep it with Uncle Grandpa with that one, and then we'll open up the other one with Clarence here. That way, hopefully both of them get a level up, because that's like 200 gems each. But there we go, we beat the first boss. And we get a level up, ooh, double level up again. Very, very cool. He got a skill there, which is like the reigning of sodas. I don't know what that is, but cool. Two more level ups, everybody's nice and strong, and I guess if we were to play the game more in the future, we could go to the Steven Universe area, which is pretty darn cool. But with that being said, I think that's where we're going to finish things up for today for Cartoon Network Battle Crashers. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this point in the video, make sure you comment Cartoon Zebra, so I know you've watched the, the video, and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. But by the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.